Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge, and it is time for some more Another Brick in the Mall. So this is what we did last time. Of course, we built the Latana Cinema. Currently closed because it's about half seven in the morning. I don't think anyone really feels the need to go and watch a film at half seven in the morning. So we built that last time. There are a few things, however, that we need to change because this cinema screen is too big. It's too big. It's too grand and too vast. So I think we can make them probably a third smaller. So bring it back to sort of here. Make them smaller and maybe just fit some more in. And then we need to sort this bar out as well. And there is also something I want to do over here. Again, to make use of this shared storeroom. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a fine dining restaurant in. Yes, we're going to put that on the corner, possibly. Put it over there, I think. That might be a good plan. So stick it over here. Now, I don't know how big a fine dining restaurant needs to be. But I don't want to underdo it. So I don't really know how they work yet. So, you know, I mean, that's big. That's quite big. Do we need to make it as big as that? I really don't know. I don't know. In fact, you know what? While we're here then, let's have a little look. So a fine dining restaurant is going to require... I bet it will require... Where's the fancy tables? Uh, no, not that. Yeah, so it'll probably require a restaurant table. So they're three squares. Okay, so they're three. I bet it'll need probably a bar shelf, because there'll be a bar in there. A fine dining cooking range. Yep, yeah, might need a couple of those. And a kitchen pass. Right. Yeah, I didn't know what one of these was. Somebody pointed out on the comments, thank you very much, that, um, yes, a kitchen pass is where the chefs put the food for then the waiters to come and pick up and take away. So, yes, a kitchen pass. Kind of just a cooked food area under the sort of heat lamp thing in me bobs. Um, I've moved time on a bit because we didn't have a lot of money. So I've shuffled time on a little bit. So we've gone back over. Yes, we were... We're very much depleted on money, weren't we, in fact? But yes, we're back up at 74 grand and we're making quite a bit. So by lunchtime every day, we're making profit. Yesterday, 20 grand. So yeah, it's it's ticking up quite nicely. It's going up quite nicely. I've made a few very, very small changes. Uh, there was a bus stop put in just here. A little bus stop has come in. Uh, did I do anything else? Ah, yes, there was a fairly big fundamental problem. I was looking at our profit and it was quite low. And I was thinking, why is the profit so low? Like, what's gone on? Why is it so low? Do you remember over here, Mr. G's, where, was it the cashier has suddenly decided to not become a cashier anymore and was doing something else and was counted as a sort of normal staff, uh, a normal customer who was you know, getting the bus or driving a car or whatever. That happened to pretty much all these shops. Uh, this shop here, that was affected. So uh, the Couch, Couch Bums Gadgets was affected. This one wasn't. I can't remember what the names are now. Cat Face Entertainment wasn't. This one wasn't, I don't think. Shiny Things. However, these three along here were. So Diana's Drinks, Lisa's Liquor, and Wally's Wine, and Fred's Fish, and possibly this one as well. Mixed Meats were all affected. So the stock clerks for each of those had gone weird. It had gone weird. They'd bugged out, which meant that the shelves were empty. So that no one could buy anything, particularly in here. I mean, this is a very profitable thing. Couch Bum Gadgets is very profitable. So the fact that there was nothing on the shelves for anyone to buy had obviously hit profits. So I've sorted that out. <laughs> so that's now been corrected. It's a weird bug. It's very, very strange. So we'll have to keep an eye out. So yeah, if, if all of a sudden things aren't being restocked, we can work out why. And research-wise, they finished off whatever research they were doing. I don't know what it was. Road Network 2. So I just thought, yeah, Road Network 3. We're not even anywhere near getting the next Road Network bits, are we? So it's fine. Yeah, the other one is over there. One is many, 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 many miles away over there. So that's absolutely fine. So I also have a plan with this as well. Because people have pointed out that you can put things kind of outside if you cheat a bit. So I think we're going to have a go at this. So what we're going to do is, uh, no, that's the wrong button, foundations. Let's do this. Let's set that as foundations. Speed time on. So get the little builder dudes in to make this all foundations. And then, if we can catch them at the right time, yeah. Then remove that and that. So like this. Oh, no, you know, you're not doing it. You're going all the way back to come all the way back out again. Come on, builder dudes. Build the peoples. There you go. Yeah. Bishy bash bash, bish bash 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 bash. There we go. Look, so all the things are now done. So we've got an outside bit. And normally, you can't build things outside. If we put things back to normal speed. If you say you want a vending machine, which I thought, you know, you might want outside a shop. It says, no, you can't put it outside. Look, it says, we must place objects indoors. However, now this has got foundation on, but the walls have been removed. It thinks that it's indoors, even though it clearly isn't. It's clearly very much outside. So we can put ourselves a vending machine there. And then maybe a trash can. Uh, yeah, do we need to do rotating? No, like that. And then I did notice, is it down the bottom end? Yeah, benches. So why don't we put ourselves a few benches along here like that? 
And then can we have these things? Oh no, do they, what do they do? Do they have to go outside? Right, okay, so those things have to go outside. So there were some normal plants, weren't there? So let's just put a couple of plants like that. We've got a teeny tiny little outside sort of seating area just there. Which is quite nice. Look, so there's some benches for people to sit on and some pot. Oh, there you go, you're using it already. Hello, who are you? Pamela, Pamela Werner? Pamela Werner? I don't know, can I employ you? You're actually quite good. <laughs> and you're a movie buff. Okay, that's good. So yeah, can we get a snack? You can put, you can eat your snack on the bench, then put your litter in the, in the trash can, and then go about your business. So yeah, I quite like that. Uh, okay, various bits and bobs being missed, but yeah, whatever. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so down here, next job, get this cinema sorted. Right, what we'll do is, I think what we'll do is build another one, and then we'll start messing about with this one, so then the other cinema is at least there to then you know take people on board. So we want to build one. So how big do we need it to be? I think to about there. So what's that? A couple pasta projectors. So we want it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How about 11? So if we have 11 tiles wide, and that means that in the middle, if we find number 6, that means we can put the thing in the middle. So the projector can go in the middle. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 just there. So the projector can go in the middle, and then the screens don't have to be as big, and we can have more of them. That, that sounds like a fun thing. So let's make it... Uh, like that then. So is that going to be big enough for a cinema screen? It doesn't seem very big, does it? But then we can have lots of these screens, I suppose, is, is the plan. So if we have it going 11, well, we need it going to go 12 down because we need a gap of 11, don't we? So let's have it like that. So $28,800. Goodness me. Okay, and that gives us a gap of 11 in the middle. Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... No, it doesn't. <laughs> One day I will learn to count and it shall be good. But until that day, let's just bumble on like an idiot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, of course. There we go. Right, pretend you didn't see that. Nothing happened there. Move along. Right, and let's get some doors. Doors would be useful. Uh, put a door. Okay, they're dismantling the, dismantling the bar wall. I didn't think they were going to do that. Okay. No, no, right, okay, that's weird then. I didn't think they would do that, but okie doke. Right, we need to repair that then. Okay. Have they always done that? Have they always dismantled the walls when you build, when you set foundation on them? Uh, okay, I didn't realise they did that then. Sorry, that that's that's kind of messed things up a little bit. Okay, yeah, I didn't realise they did that. I always thought that it just didn't count as paying for it because it already knew there was foundation there. So it went, no, you don't need foundation on this because you've already got some. Oh, okay, right, fine. Well, there we go. That's that's kind of a bit strange, but never mind. Okay, then we want to remove these inner walls, if we could get on with it. Where are the buildy people going? Come on, buildy people, chop, chop. Right, remove that and remove that, like so. And then door, one door at the top, and then what? Oh, I can't build the door just there, just now, because there's no sort of corresponding wall to attach it to on the other side. Bibbly bobbly boo, little man, there we go. Right, door. You, you, yeah, you went out, you went through the wall and then realised you couldn't get back in. You silly person. Stop, just, just walk through that. Just go this way. What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Look, come on, there you go, door and door. Right, thank you. Okay, now I want to assign this as a movie theatre. So, da 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 da. And, uh, yeah, let's make that. Latana screen two. So Latana screen two. There we go. So Latana screen two, manage movie theatre, uh, assign it to that lobby. So at least that's done. So Latana screen two is done. Latana screen one is, yeah, it's too big at the moment. So now we need the projector, which is quite fabulously expensive, if I remember rightly. Yes, it's 10 grand for some reason. But that's in the middle, isn't it? So that can go just there. And then the spectator seats can kind of just go in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, do we have to leave gaps? So I want to fill, I want to do this properly. This whole thing is going to be done nicely. Oh, you can't drag and drop the um, spectator seats. That's a bit annoying. So like that. And then, and then, and then the rubbish seats right at the front that nobody ever wants to sit in. There we go. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? That looks better. And then there's a... Yay! And someone's coming in. Jay Davis. I wonder what films we show. 
actually have no idea what films we show. Right, also, this place is immensely popular just here. What we need to do right here is get another person in for Latana's Sweets because they're always seeming to be very, very popular. There's two people in, so why don't we just overlap? So what time do you start? So you start at 10 until 8. And you start at, uh, oh no, was it 8? Uh, no, 10 for 8, sorry. So 10 until 6. And you start from 6 until closing. So if we start someone at 2 o'clock until 10 o'clock, that at least gives us another bit of sort of another buffer. Oh, and everyone's pretty rubbish again. Oh, you're all right. Scotty Sawyer. Yeah, with your crazy eyes. Yeah, you'll do. So Scotty Sawyer, start at, uh, yeah. What time What time did I just say? 10. So if you start at 2 and work for 8 hours, that'll be 2 until 10. And that gives us a bit of a boost later on in the day. So that might help. There we go. Splendid. So he's not going to come in now. But look, the queues are big here. The queues are big and then they go off shift and everyone leaves. And I look, these people are just stealing stuff from the store. <laughs> these people are just stealing stuff when there's nobody in there. Look, profit margin, minus 104%. This is probably a bad thing. But there you go. So there were two people in. And yeah, then when one person goes, like, you know, to the toilet or whatever, everyone just leaves the queue, which is a little bit strange, isn't it? Right. So, yeah, you're working your way up. So this is good. Yeah, lots of lots of money is happening. Lots of stuff. I'd like to be able to train the staff. I'd love to be able to train the people. So, you know, to... Uh, no, not not you, though. So, uh, where's the staff gone for that? Oh, I don't know, but you're a staff person. So we can't... We can manage you, but I don't think we can train you in any fashion, can we? I'd love to be able to train you. To say, right, okay, yeah, we're going to send you on some training to upgrade your speed. Or to upgrade your sociability. Or whatever, that kind of thing. Is there a way to do that? I don't think there is. There's marketing and that is indeed it. And some statistics which I haven't looked at in ages. Okay, right. Clear that. Clear that. Now, shall we Shall we then change this now? So this screen, right, pause it. It's 3.30 in the morning. Let's, let's change this screen around then. So let's... How do we do this? Do we literally take one of the things out? Yeah. Can we take that out? Can we just, can we move it somewhere? Move it, what, into here for now, temporarily? Yeah, let's just put it there for now, look. And then it'll break this thing. So this will break, but that's absolutely fine. And then we can move these around. So one, two, three, four. So let's move this chair to spin it around there, like that. And then move these, move these along. So M is the hot key for move. Okay, that makes things easier. And then put that there, and then put that there. <laughs> and then that one there. And then that one there. And then, yeah, then we've just got another four. So we'll move these four up. Okay, yeah, if I press the right button, it probably would help, wouldn't it? A little tiny bit of help. Right, like that. And then get more spectator seats. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, how many rows do they have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So then another one here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now walls. So we want wall going along here, like that, and then up like that, because there's one space before the front of the thing. Oh no, these are one space forward. Stupid, stupid. Okay, don't do that with the walls. Un unassign those walls. Undo walls. Uh, right, let's move. Oh, now I can't move those seats because they're <laughs> not there anymore. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Let's wait. Let's wait for the bit. Let's move these ones at least. Let's move these. Let's at least feel like I've achieved something. Ah, oh, dearie me. Maybe I need some more tea, possibly. Right, put them there. Okay, now let's let's do all of this stuff. Let's put the walls in again, like that. But then it's going to be to there. And then another wall up like that. And when everything's moved back a space, there'll be a gap. And that will be Latana screen too, including also... An extra door, scrolly scroll, a door just there as well. So people can come in and out through both doors and what have you. Okay, right, now we just need to wait for them to actually get on with doing all this stuff. So while they're doing that, while the builder people are doing this, I shall then rezone and unassign all this kind of stuff because that is now no longer going to be screen one and do all that kind of jazz. There we go. So screen one has now been minimized. We've got a little bit down here for potentially screen two. And what we'll do is I think we'll just remove that for now i think we'll just remove the wall and the floors and stuff and then just have it all right okay 
pause. So we'll remove that. We'll leave this bit here. We'll put another screen in possibly. And then, yeah, then just, just get rid of this bit for now. And we'll rebuild it a bit later on. What a waste of money that is. But do I just leave it there? Because we're probably going to build there anyway at some point. Maybe we'll find some use for it. I don't know. Do you know what? Let's leave that there. We'll leave it. And then, you know, when we've got some money, we can always build something into it. I don't know what it's going to be. But yeah, I think we're going to leave it there, actually. 104 people are leaving Wii Hours Games because the checkout queues are full. 104 people. That's quite a lot of people. Has something gone weird with their staffing issues? Do all the staff actually think that they're staff? Cashier on the way to work. Cashier, cashier, cashier. Yes, you're all cashiers. This, this is a good sign. It's a good thing. Cashiers, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I think all their stuff looks fine. Yeah, it all looks fine at the minute. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's just maybe it's just incredibly, incredibly busy. Right, let me rejig this then. Let's get all this done. Let's get this rezoned and maybe pop in another couple of screens, possibly, just for the sake of it. So we've got four screens. That kind of looks a bit like a proper cinema. Let's get all that finished and we should return when that is done. And there we go. We've got four screens and they're all the same. Also, I've put the nice red flooring on because I do think... Don't they have kind of red or dark floors anyway? I think I think cinema screens have kind of dark floors. So that'll do. An awful lot of these notifications coming up now. There's lots and lots of people leaving for queues and what have you. But do you know what? Whatever, it's fine. So yeah, maybe this, now in hindsight, again, not really understanding how these things work at the start. This is really quite big, isn't it? The ticket lobby thing for this is ginormous. So yes, maybe we don't need that. But can you share a ticket lobby? Can you share one with say, a bowling alley. Can you share it with a bowling alley? Because it might be worth, can we put a bowling alley along here, share that, and have bowling along here, and have like a little entertainment thing. You've got a cinema and a bar, and a like fine dining somewhere. We've got 21 people leaving the shop because they can't get served, and that kind of thing. Right, is everything working? Okay, the shelves here look ominously empty. Why are the shelves empty? Let's just have a check. So the stock clock so Polly Montgomery, the stock clock, now comes up as Scotty Hubbard, a customer who's going home. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a curious bug, is it? It's a weird bug. Okay, right. So transfer you, Polly Montgomery, um, currently employed at Diana's Drinks. Let's send you back to Diana's Drinks as a stock clerk. Yes, transfer. And now you're coming to work in 23 hours. So essentially that's going to be shut for the day. There's no stock. This place is, it's broken. So yeah, that is a really weird bug. It's really strange. It's really weird. Is it because they're sharing a big stock room? I really don't know. I don't know why it does it, but it's very, very odd and it keeps happening. Yes, yeah, so that'd be the second time it's happened to that place. Can we just automatically clear all these notifications? That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's working. That's fine. Uh, have I set that to use a thing? Reassign lobby. Yes, I have. Okay, yes. I thought, I thought I'd forgotten to do that for a second. And yeah, I've put a couple of vending machines down here and some bins and trash cans and whatever. All that kind of stuff down there because that's fun. There's a bar here. I'm not so bothered about the bar right now. I would like to try, if at all possible, and get the fine dining restaurant in. But I don't think with 26 grand we're going to be able to build a big enough, a big enough place for it. I don't think we're going to have a large enough kind of area to do it. I, I don't think we can. So if we extend that out, I mean, is that going to be big enough for a fine dining restaurant? I think so. But how much money is that going to cost to just do that with foundations? I mean, that's nine grand. So we're going to need at least 81 grand to do all of that space in order to sort of get at least something there. I mean, we could do it a little bit less. We could put car parking down. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Let's put... Uh, staff only parking down the side because that's probably a good idea and then if that's being extended that way we could put a loading zone just there as well so that probably help cut the cost a little bit in terms of what we need for foundations and it's still quite a big building it's still a big building so now we only need 72 grand so uh, yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit drink some of my tea and wait for 72 grand to come in. And then by the time they've built that, so I'll outline it, they'll build it, they'll build the shell, and they'll be able to build all the doors and what have you with it. Then some money might have come back in for us to actually fit it out as a fine dining restaurant. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go, uh, go and have some tea, in fact. Have I got any cake? I don't think there's cake. There's certainly biscuits. I'd quite like some cake, but I don't think there is any. But whatever the case, I shall have tea and a snack, and we shall return when I have monies.
Ah, okay, right, that's appropriate. I was just about to start jabbering, and yes, they finished researching Road Network 3. So, yeah, there's only three things left to research now. So, again, bus transport. I can construct 20 total bus stops. I've got three, I think. Research that, because I did put a bus stop outside the front of here so people can get to this sort of bit of shops over here, and then the cinema and the bar and whatever else. So, they've finished doing that. I've also put a little bit over here, just behind the loos and behind just here, because we are going to zone this as a maintenance centre. Because currently, as it stands, the cleaners and stuff, to clean all the way up there, have, uh, clean down here, sorry, have to come from all the way up there and make their way down here, which sounds a little bit tedious. So if we go to manage this and just call it uh, Litana Cinema Maintenance, Litana Cinema Maintenance, maintenance, like so, and then we get ourselves a janitor or two. Is there anyone good at janitoring? You're quite... Oh, you'd be a very good cashier person. <gasps> Can we just employ you? We need to build the... She'd be really good in the um in the thing because she's a cook. Look how good she is. Speed and a cook. We need to get the shop thing sorted. Oh, we've not got long before it all goes away. Right, uh, uh, you're a good cook as well. Janitor. So no one... Oh, she's the only one with any janitor skills. Oh, no... You, you're quite quick. You're quite fast. You're quite fast and sociable, but sociability has no impact if you're a, a janitor, I don't think. You're not that bad a janitor. Do you know what? Let's get you. Let's get Philip Salazar as a janitor. And you can start at... What time does the Latana Cinema open? It starts at 10 o'clock. So you can start at 10 o'clock and you can work for eight hours. So if you start at, uh, no, no, wrong one, wrong one in there, please. Staff, Philip Salazar, start at 10 and work for eight hours. So that's you working there until six. Now, can we hire another janitor? Again, you're very, very good. You've not got much in the way of the other skills, though. But in terms of other stuff, you're very, very good. So you've got janitor skills. Do you know what? Should we just hire her? Let's just hire her for now. You'll do. And then you can start at 1,800 hours and work for eight hours. There we go. So this place is now covered for janitors. There's a couple of janitors down here that can tidy this up to stop the guys from over here having to come all the way through the car park, across there, all the way down here. It just cuts that out. Low, millions of warning things. Yep, 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 whatever. I wish we could turn those off. Okay, just here. Oh, in fact, I have messed that up. I have done something a bit silly there, but that's fine. We can sort that out. Let's remove that for now. Uh, right, so this thing here, let's turn this into, if we can find it, a fine dining restaurant. Sorry, I had to go and have a bit of tea there, a bit of dry throat going on. Right, so if we outline that as a fine dining restaurant, it's jolly exciting. This can come in here. So you can come in here and just dismantle these. So what does that need? So it requires cashiers, stock clock. Okay, so the first thing we could do is, in terms of this, we could hire ourselves a cook. Because she looks very good. I mean, she's a very good cashier as well, though. She's a very good cashier. We have no other cooks, though. The cook scale determines the speed at which cooks cook. <laughs> good. Right. Giselle Morris, you can be a cook. Yes, you can join our place as a cook. I mean, there's nothing else to do there. It's absolutely fine. Uh, waiters. Oh, my goodness. We need waiters as well. Okay. So, we need an order counter. We need fine dining cooking ranges. Might get two of those. Kitchen passes. Get a couple of those. Waiters. And then, obviously, storage. So, storage is going to be sorted down here. So, storage will just be that extended on. Has that got a nice name? No. Storage 27. That's a terrible name. Uh, Litana C Cinema Storage. That's probably a little bit more useful, isn't it? So that'll merge into there. That'll be the restaurant. Okay, so how do we want to do this then? So how are we going to do this? Oh no, now I've got to build something and it's going to go horribly wrong. Okay, so it needed order counters, didn't it? It needed order counters. So it needs at least one order counter. Okay, so if we rotate that round. Now I think, let's see how big these other things are. So how big is the fine dining cooking range? Uh, that just sits... At, yeah, so I don't know which way round that goes. Like, do I need to put them across... Like, can it go there against the wall? Or do I need to leave a little gap? I really don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm going to put that there. Yeah, when you rotate it, it doesn't give you any clue. 
So I'm going to put one of the far, the sort of, oh no, that's a fast food cooking rate. Fast food, find. Oh, <laughs> that could have been a bit of a stupid mistake at a maker. Uh, yeah, look, they, they, they don't rotate in any convincing way. So I don't know. I'm going to put that in the corner. Let's see if that works. So let's put that like, no, I don't like it there. I think that, I think they stand in front of those hot plate bits. I think they stand where the cursor is on this side. So I think if we put one of those in the corner just there, and then a kitchen pass, we can rotate. So if we put one of those just there, and then another just there, like that, have another fine dining cooking range thing, say, there, and then let's see how this can work then. So, and then an order counter. Could the order counter go just there for now? Oh, no, I want to move those up, don't I? If I want two order counters, which might be beneficial, let's have one. Oh, no, that... That might work. Let's delete that and that for now. Let's get, where were they? Kitchen pass things. So done food. One there and one there. That might work, mightn't it? Okay, that's good. So we've got that. Kitchen pass, fine dining cooking range, order counters. So we need cashiers, stock clocks, waiters and storage. And then obviously somewhere for people to sit. Because that is rubbish if you can't go and sit down. So uh, yeah, restaurant tables. Restaurant tables, uh, we can just do like that, I suppose. That'll do, won't it? Like that. And then another one like that. And then, oh, right, hang on. Where, do the, where are the queues for that, actually? Where is the queue? Maybe that one is a step too far. So, oh, and then you don't want them next to the... <laughs> you don't want them there. Let's twist that round, then. So we'll have one like that. And then we can put some down here as well. Get a couple more people in. Say one in the corner, in fact. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now we need to speed time on. They need to sort this bit out so we can assign storage. Now I hope they do that first. That was the first request. Oh, come on. Do the one door. Take the door out. Oh, you annoying little builder people. Come on. One door. Uh, assign. Uh, do, 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 do. Storage. Can we do that though through there? Will it let us? Ah, yes. Good. Okay, right. Then manage that. Pause. Assign storage. Bosh. Okay, what time do we want the fine dining restaurant to open? I don't know. What time do we want the fine dining restaurant to open? At lunchtime? So how about 10 o'clock and it shuts at... What time does the cinema close? The cinema shuts at 2 in the morning. So yeah, let's have it at the same hours as the cinema. So uh, 10 and it's 16 hours like that. There we go. So 10 o'clock for 16 hours. Now we need cashiers, stock clocks, and waiters. Okay. So again, we'll have to do two lots of these. So yeah, they've got all, everything else is in. Everything else is ready. So we've got to cook. All right, is there anyone that's good at waiterings? All right, you're a very good stock clock though. Pause, 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 pause. Stock clock, Lucy Bray, 51 years old, Lucy Bray. You can come here and you can be a stock clock because you are good. Okay, and then we're going to need another stock clerk. We need two of each of the things. Oh, you're very you're a cook as well. We might get you as a cook. Uh, anyone else good at stock clerkery? You're pretty good at everything, in fact. In fact, yeah. Oh no, let's not get you as a cashier because you've got terrible sociability. Let's get you as a stock clerk. So two of those. Uh, we need another cook. Who was good at cookery? Emma Pratt. There you go. Emma Pratt is a good cook. So let's get her in as that. So we've got two cooks, two stock clocks. So here we go. Now this is where I get confused because I'm an idiot. So you're working. Emma Pratt, who was there before? Was it a stock clerk there before? Who was there before? Didn't we employ somebody already? Was it Giselle Morris? So she starts at... Giselle can start... Giselle can do the day shift. So she can start at 10 o'clock and work her way through for eight hours. So that's until six, and then you can then start at six and work for eight hours. So good, so you covered the hours. Stock clerk, same thing, 10 o'clock for eight hours, and then you can come in at six o'clock for eight hours. Splendid. Okay, that's that. Cashiers, right, you're okay. Connie Doherty, Dougherty, uh, you're good for a cashier. So you can start at 10 and work for eight hours, and another cashier. Come on, give me another good cashier. You're all right. You'll do you are terrible. You are utterly, eminently unemployable, Jerry Mullen. Look at your angry face. You have no skills of any kind. <laughs> Can we not just say no? <gasps> She's a good cashier. Yes, we'll have you, Kelly McConnell. You can start at six for eight hours. 
This is good. And then we just need a waiter. Is anyone good at waiterings? Not really. In fact, everyone is pretty terrible at waitering. Um, okay, yeah, it's a shame it's gone to 141. I possibly should have looked yesterday and then today, but never mind. So waitering. You, you seem okay at waitering. Rita Galvan will have you starting at 10 for eight hours. And then another waiter uh, who is quick. Brendan Stevenson looks all right for, for waitering. But these stats are also good. So he's quite quick at just moving around generally. So you can do that. You can come in at six o'clock for eight hours. Okay. Does that mean that is now functional? I believe that means that works. This is now open. Well, not open, but it, it will function. It's now not open because it's three in the morning. But it now should then function. So let's just make sure. Let's just check that it works. So let's wait until 10 o'clock the next morning and see that this isn't a massive disaster because, uh, you know, it's me building stuff. So it probably will end up a little bit like that. But let's hope, fingers crossed, that it all works. Ah, OK, right. So the cooks go on the other side. They go on the far side of the thing. Oh, my goodness. It is super busy. It's it's insanely busy. In fact, there's nowhere for people to sit. There's, it's so busy, there is nowhere for people to actually sit. These people are very cross. All right, everyone's getting cross. Why is everyone cross? Ah, uh, we possibly need more waiters. This place is really busy. <laughs> really busy. Okay, is anyone good at waitering? Oh, you're very good at patience and sociability. We need speed, ideally. Right, Mickey Kramer. Uh, you're not very good at waitering, but you are quite quick at speed. Okay. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, yes, that's it. We can look at these things, can't we? We can look at... Oh, constipated. That's nice. Can we work in our restaurant? Um, yeah, you're... Can we not just cross Jerry Mullen off the list? Okay, we'll have Linda Solis as a waiter. No, but she's not very quick. Speed is of the essence. So, yeah, Mickey Kramer, you can be a waiter. So, we're going to need two, I would say. So, you can start at... 10 and go for eight hours and then another waiter can be oh you you because i don't think you have any kind of care in the world about like patience it doesn't matter if you're a waiter i don't think have you got any waitering skills no that's a shame but kim muela you can start at 1800 and go for eight hours right so this that won't take effect for a little while these people are all going to be angry, red-faced people. I mean, yes, you've been waiting for your food a little while. I'm very sorry, lots of red, angry people. Oh, she's going to explode. You're eating your dinner. Why are you so cross? Why were you so angry? I didn't, I don't know why you were so cross. Okay, fine. So uh, what's the what's the thing here then? So there's just people leaving because they're waiting. They're, what are they waiting for? Where is the, where's the waiter? Uh, okay. The, the cook's gone. Before they're supposed to go, and now and now it's going to shut, and all these <laughs> these people are just angry little red faces. Okay, that didn't go quite according to plan. Let's wait until tomorrow. Are our profit still looking okay. Yep, so we're still making a bit of money. That's good. That's good. That's good. So yes, let's see if this works better tomorrow. Now that we've got more people in, so there should in theory be two waiters. So the profit margin is pretty good on it. The profit margin is good. So there should be two waiters coming up anytime now. Also, if you can hear outside, if you're getting lots of smashing and bashing sounds, that is the uh, the recycling trucks coming in to pick up all my recycling. But they make one heck of a noise. I don't know what they do. I have no idea. But they make a lot of noise. Right, let's just put a floor in. A pink floor. That's nice. That can kind of have the yellowy floor that runs through from there like that because floors are important and there we go lovely so it's actually got flooring okay now i'm very confused here i'm very confused what's happening so the waiter is hanging around the cook is hanging around she's at work why isn't the cook doing any cooking cook is supposed to be cooking but i don't know why they're not i'm not entirely clear <laughs> As to why the cook... It, like, why are these people angry? What you're you're eating? You should be fine. It's the people that haven't got food that should be getting angry. Okay, so there's a waiter getting an order. So Mickey Kramer is taking an order from these two. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Taking an order. They've paid money, so they left. These people are angry. Yeah, what, what, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. And the cook isn't doing anything. The cook is hanging around. Can you not cook some food, cook? 
Hello. Former cook. Bonus cook experience. Laid back. Patience 50 bonus. Swift. Speed as a 50% bonus. You're a brilliant person all round. Why aren't you doing any actual cooking? Can you, can you do some cooking now, please? There's nothing in front of you. Maybe we need to move that. Maybe we need to move it to just there. Maybe she just can't function with it. Or is it the stock clock? Maybe the stock clock isn't quick enough? Really? I would have thought you could have done that. Okay, well, let's hurry time on. Let's speed it on a little bit. She's got some food. So she's making some nice food. That's good. Maybe it's... Maybe it's this. Maybe we need more... I really don't understand. I don't understand. Right, okay. Maybe we need another cook as well. Maybe we need more cooks. Right, okay. Okay, right. More cooks. Hire a cook. <laughs> Can anyone cook? No, but you're quick. You're quick. You will probably do just fine. Let's hire Eliza, Elisa, Eliza Kelly. You will do just fine. Eliza Kelly, come in at 10. Work for eight hours. Hire a cook. Oh, you're quite good as well, aren't you? But we're after speed. Are you the quickest one we've got? No, Lee Pruitt is the best we've got in terms of that. But again, no real cook skills. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until the end of the day and then get another cook. Yeah, no, the cooks just aren't quick enough. They're just not quick enough at making food. There's an awful lot of people and they take ages. What are you doing? Finish up and make some food and give it to the waiter person. Okay. I don't really know if that's supposed to do that or not, but there you go. Okay, staff, hire a cook. Please tell me there's some good people that can actually cook. No, no one with any cooking skills, but John Bailey. Yes, John. Oh, no. Lauren Bond. Look at the speed of her. Yes, we'll have Lauren Bond at six o'clock for eight hours. Yeah, I like the look of that. So now we're going to have two cooks, two waiters, one cashier on each time and one stock clerk. Now, is it the stock clerk that is the problem, possibly? Do we need to ramp that up as well? Do we need more stock clerks to put the food on here? I really don't know. Or is it because these are too near and they can't get round or something? I really don't know. I don't quite know what the problem is. Can the stock clerks not do something that they're supposed to be able to do? I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's wait until it opens again at 10 a.m. And let's see what happens. We've not got long to wait, so it's going to tick over. People leaving wee hours games yet. Okay, so there's people in. Two cooks. Hello, I would like some food, please, this person says. Now Mickey Kramer is getting the order. He has gone over here and he's taken the order. Now there is some food being prepared by the people. There's some food on there. He's taking the food to various people. And, and why are the people inside the building not being served? Hang on, hang on. Can we follow him? Follow him. Right. So he goes to that table. He goes to that table. He goes to that table. This is weird. I don't think I've ever followed anyone before. Okay. So the food is coming out. Right. And then he's gone home. <laughs> That's weird. Where is he going? Why is that man running off? Okay. You. Let's follow you then. You're a waiter. You're hanging around, which is never a good sign, is it? So now let's see. Brilliant. I'm glad we're following you. Follow. Right. Over there. Now, where are you going? Where are you going? You're taking a plate into the toilets. Okay. That's weird. Why are you... What are you doing? You've got a whole kitchen full of food. Just have a bit of this. Okay, that's a bit strange. You're still carrying a plate around. <laughs> oh, and you've teleported into a toilet. Oh, no, we're watching someone else now. We're watching another person. Okay, right, fine. <laughs> okay. So maybe the problem is a lack of lavatorial facilities, which we could correct by putting something here for the staff. It wouldn't help with the people, though, there, would it? It wouldn't help with those guys. Unless we just shorten the stock room and just have a, a sort of restroom here and have the stock room cut around the back. Maybe have a little corridor bit so this service thing still is apt for. It still, you know, works. And have a bit down here for the for the um, for a restroom for these people. And then put a vending machine in here. In fact, you know what? We could do that right now, couldn't we? vending machine because they love a vending machine even though they work in a restaurant they have to have a vending machine which is a little bit silly isn't it uh vending machine in here uh i don't know how much trouble in fact can we just put it right there can we just put it behind there <laughs> it doesn't look very professional but there you go there's a vending machine so you can all get your snacks and stuff from here even though you work in a restaurant and then everyone else will sort the toilets out next time oh and they finished the research yep yeah, bus transport three whatever and uh, however this is going to be interesting because soon the research is going to be done, which means I can get rid of this. 
I could in theory get rid of this bit here and expand Wii Hours Games up here. <gasps> yes, expand Wii Hours Games store up there. Move this. Shift you that somewhere else. Whatever. Not so bothered about that. Put that up there or whatever. Maybe take out some of these car parking spaces. Put in a little maintenance centre just there. Expand this up here so the toilets can stay in the middle. That's fine. There can be a door there and a door there, say. Toilets in the middle. Expand Wii Hours Games up here and have tills. Tills galore. Maybe car parky bits as well. And have this massively, massively expanded. In fact, you could even rework it. You could take those toilets out, stick them in the far corner or something. That's quite far away from the staff though, isn't it? It's quite good, the toilets being in the middle. But yeah, once the office is done, I think that's what we do. We just dismantle the office. We don't need it anymore. Once they've researched everything, what's the point? There's no point keeping them. So we'll save two lots of wages. All those desks, all this stuff in here, all these toilets with propane maintenance on, all this stuff can go, expand We Hours Games up to, say, here. Loads more new shelves, loads more checkouts, car park stuff up here. I think that sounds like a very good plan. Is this making money? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 64% profit margin. Do you know what? I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Now, the only thing we need to do is give it a name. So the final act of this video, let's give this a name. I think we call it Emrys's Fine Food Emporium. So Emrys, not member of the YouTube Wolf Hub, but a regular commenter and contributor to the Geek Cupboard. So thank you. Look, you've got a fine food emporium. It's not just a fine food restaurant. No, no, it's an emporium. I mean, is, is it an emporium? I don't really know the definition of an emporium. I might have used the word emporium wrong there, but whatever. It began with E and it seemed alliterative. So we've got Emrys's Emporium and Fine Food. It just seemed to sort of make sense. So there we go. Thank you. Thank you for commenting and joining in and generally being an all-round splendid, lovely person. So thank you. This is now your restaurant. I'm afraid I can't send you the profits, however. But there we go. So it's all done. So a little bit of work on here, I think possibly to put a restroom in so the people who need the loo don't have to go all the way into the cinema complex to use it. But yeah, I still don't understand. Like, look, these people here, these people have food in front of them, but for some reason they're very, very angry and now I can't click on them at all. There we go. You're really angry and I don't know why. Ah, bladder. Bladder. Oh, hunger is high, possibly. Also bladder. Okay, yeah, so uh, possibly the restroom is a bit of an issue. We'll sort that out next time. That can go down here somewhere but there we go so we've got that in we've sorted a bit the cinema out we've got a little bit of wasted space over here but the money is indeed rolling in it's quite nice we've got 77 grand just by virtue of watching this and letting time pass everything seems to be ticking over quite nicely are all the shelves being stocked yes it looks all right no 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 right okay this has gone a bit weird customer yeah okay uh sergeant curry pants clothing Yep, let's sort this out. Where is Sergeant Curry Pants clothing? There, stock clerk, transfer you to that. For goodness sake. Okay, yeah, that that is going to be an absolute nightmare. If this is full, imagine if that was full and that bug kept happening. That's going to be an absolute pain. That's going to be a disaster. You're going to have to keep looking at every single shop, seeing if it's stocked, and then reassigning the people to their existing job, which is a bit weird. But anyway, there we go. Let's put time to nice normal speed. Next time... Sort that bit out, possibly sort the bar out, and then maybe over here, once we have enough monies, because that'll be expensive again, do something with a bowling alley. Because we've got the technology for it, we've unlocked the research stuff for it, I just don't know how to implement one. So maybe I'll run time on a bit, let some cash come in, then we'll sort the toilets out here. And yeah, bowling alley might be a lot of fun to get in as well. That could be a lot of fun. And maybe put another cleaner in here, and then build the car park and stuff around this little complex over here but that's it for now if you have enjoyed this please do leave a like and if you're not already subscribed then please do so to keep up to date with this and all the other stuff we get up to as well but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time right everyone give me your money give me all the money the music is very sinister i'm not sure i particularly like the music fire the catapult oh what a shot catapult man right okay they're knocking the wall down they're not the wall is coming down God, some of them are huge. Oh, God, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermelon.